Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweet and I try and this tutorial I'm going to be showing how you can easily get uniform skin tone and recently I posted this image on Instagram and most of you are asking me how I managed to get that nice and beautiful skin tone for this very model and you can see a quick before and after so we're just going to be learning about how to get that nice and beautiful rich uniform skin tone for this in just Photoshop so if at all you don't have capture and only want to learn to color grade within Photoshop, this is a tutorial for you. And before you can proceed, I request that you hit the like button on this video because when you hit the like button, it also helps YouTube to push and also recommend this video to many people out there. So simply hit the like button on this video before we proceed with this very tutorial. So hoping you're done with that, let's just look at a quick before and after, before, after, before and after. So I'm just going to delete the after image and we go straight into learning about this. So I'm just going to be using the gradient map to color grade this image. So the gradient map basically helps us map specific areas of the skin tones in the image. So you're just going to be sampling and copying those colors and putting them into a gradient. So that when you apply it on the image later on, it can have that smooth flow within the skin tones and that flow is going to be uniform at the end of it also just come to the adjustments right here and simply click on gradient map so when you click on gradient map don't mind about whichever color that is going to appear right here don't mind about the properties color that is going to be displayed under the gradient map property window so after you have done that so you may be having a different color Right here, you may be having black or white or any other random color. So don't mind about that. So what we want to do first, we're going to hide or deactivate this layer right here and simply click and make sure the gradient icon is selected and not the layer mask. So just make sure the gradient icon has been selected in this case. So after this has been selected, we're just going to double click on the gradient or simply make sure that you have selected this gradient option and not this and with this just come and simply double click on that color so when you double click on that color right there it is going to open up the gradient editor and in the gradient editor we have this kind of tool right down here that has these stops right here you can see that these handles below here so by this the one on the left hand side is going to be our darkest area of the skin tone and the one on the right hand is going to be the brightest area within the skin tone so just want to come and we map those areas depending on the color of the skin so just want to make different stops on this gradient line and we map it accordingly so like i said dark on the left hand side and the brightest area on the right hand side so simply double click on this top and when you double click on it you can get this color picker tool or you can as well single click on this stop and simply click on the color icon and it's going to open up this same option so after doing this i'm just going to zoom in on the image by using ctrl or command plus so since the stop we made is for the darkest area you're just going to choose the darkest area within the skin tone so you don't have to choose the blackest area make sure you choose the darkest area within the skin tone so to choose simply with the eyedropper tool selected simply left click and that is going to sample that color in the darkest area so you can choose a dark color just like that and you can see the color that we have chosen is going to be the darkest representation of the skin color or the skin tone and simply click on ok so we're going to now choose the bright the brightest area within the skin tone by double clicking on this stopper and when you double click just look for the brightest area within the skin which is this area and simply left click on that area and you can see it is going to sample that area and simply click on OK. So after doing that, we're going to sample the mid tone. So just going to make a point in the middle and simply double click on it. 
and choose a color that is in the middle so that color is going to be you're just going to be using this color right here because it seems to be the midpoint of the colors and i'm just going to click on ok so just want to make another point that is close or between the darkest area and the midtone so i'm just going to make a point right in the middle and double click on that point so i just want a color that is between the darkest area and the midtones of the image so i'm just going to choose a color that is falling around this point right here and i'm just going to simply hit ok so we are done mapping or creating that nice and smooth gradient for this model right here and i'm just going to come and click on ok so remember initially we turned off or we hid the gradient layer so you're just going to come and turn it back on but as you can see this doesn't look nice at all so what we want to do basically we are going to come to the blend mode and change it from normal and we're going to come and change it to soft light so you can see that now the skin is nice rich and warm but this is as well affecting the overall image so remember we only want it to affect the skin tones of the model so after doing this you can come to the opacity and first of all drop it to the opacity of your liking so i'll go with around 74 so that's the before and after but it's as well affecting the background and the hair and we only want it to affect the skin of a model so just come to the layer mask and simply press ctrl or command i on the keyboard and that is going to invert or hide the effect from the overall image remember in photoshop white reviews and black hides that is why it has been able to hide the color grading behind the black mask so just come under the brushes and simply get the brush tool make sure it is soft meaning the hardness is at zero percent opacity in the flat 100 percent right here and make sure you have black and white on these two small boxes and you can reset by clicking or left clicking on these two small boxes right here so you can switch between black and white by using x on the keyboard or you can as well use this arrow so make sure white is the foreground color and simply with the brush tool you can just come and paint onto the skin just like that and you can see this only is going to be painting the color grading on only the skin and leaving out the background so just come and paint on only the skin just like that so if i told you want to eliminate color grading for example from the eyes of the model i'm just going to be showing you how that is done so make sure you switch the brush back to black and that color is going to be painting back black meaning it is going to hide the color grading from the areas we did not want to color grade before so just come and paint in those areas and you can see right now it is done doing the color grading in those areas so you can see the before and after before after so this is how you can easily color grade your images and have that nice and uniform skin tone for your images and if at all you have learned something from this tutorial don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating